Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, now being titled Out of the Shadows, a uh, trailer review. So, uh, this is the first trailer we're getting for the sequel um, to the 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, um, which was, you know, it's produced by Michael Bay, uh, starred Megan Fox, uh, Will Arnett, uh, and, um, you know, I think that, I, I personally really enjoyed that movie. Uh, not to the, to like an extent of maybe I that I've enjoyed like Marvel and DC movies um, as much, but I really had a good time watching the first one. Uh, there was a really big amount of people who were just kind of like, you know, this movie's not that great. Um, it focused too much on April o April O'Neil, and I was kind of you know some of my own thoughts and opinions do somewhat kind of go back to that, you know. Uh, but overall, as a whole movie, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining. Um, you know, the turtles looked pretty damn cool. And, uh, you know, the, Shre the Shredder and the story, you know, not bad. But, from this trailer, you know, I, w I honestly wasn't expecting much. Uh, I thought it was just going to kind of be like a little bit of a teaser. I thought it was going to just show, like, very few stuff. You know, not very many, not, not as much big stuff, but just some, you know, maybe a couple key scenes and about it. And we maybe we'd see like a more full on trailer within a month or two. Uh, but no, this was it. You know, it's two, two and a half minutes. It was full on. Uh, so let's just start with well, how the turtles look. So for the most part, they look identical to the way that they did in the first movie. Um, I'd just say that the CGI definitely looks a little bit sharper, so you, there, you could definitely tell. And plus, the green color on them is definitely a little bit brighter. Not a lot, because honestly, I mean, if they were really bright, they would just look ridiculous. But the color is definitely more defined. So, um, as for the look of them, I'm digging it. You know, I really like what they're doing with that. Uh, they recast a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of roles um, in this movie. And just to clarify, this is not a uh, reboot. A lot of people were like, hey, they've recast almost every role. Is it a reboot? No. It's a sequel. It's being titled Out of the Shadows, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. So not just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, uh, although it is the sequel. So um, I don't know. I think that's a fine name. Uh, hopefully it actually corresponds with the movie and it's not just titled, you know, that. Just to have like a cool subtitle. Uh, but, you know, I I'm fine with that. Uh, we see April O'Neil a little bit and she actually looks like she'll be kind of, you know, a bit more of a badass in the first movie. Um, you know, she was a main character but she wasn't as much of an ass kicker. She was more of a damsel in distress slash kind of like... That person who kind of puts everything together. Uh, I think in this one, I mean, I think she's still going to be that person who kind of puts everything together, you know, in this new movie. Um, you know, because that's just who April O'Neil is. That's how she's been, uh, and, you know, always in the from the original animated stuff and all of it. So that's kind of how she is. But I ho I'm hoping she's a bit more of a badass. And it definitely looks like that. You know, um, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun, especially now with Casey Jones. So I guess right now it's a good time to switch gears to talk about some of the new characters, starting with Casey Jones, played by Stephen Amell, a.k.a. the Green Arrow on Arrow. So, I'm a huge fan of his. I mean, like, I mean huge. Stephen Amell is a phenomenal actor. He's a phenomenal person in real life. Just such a nice guy. And he's just so damn cool. Like, even when he's not wearing the Green Arrow suit, he just looks so damn cool. So when I heard he was playing Casey Jones, I went crazy. Because it's just like, one of my favorite TV actors going on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as Casey Jones. I mean, just too cool. That, that, that combination's too amazing. But... You know, Stephen Amell has not been, he's not been in very many movies. Uh, he's basically just pretty much known for Arrow. I mean, he's, he's been a minor character in some of the other, like, shows, like a one-off appearance, maybe in a, uh, like, a Criminal Minds or whatever, I'm not sure. But you, you guys know what I'm saying. He's not very, he's not really known for movies as much. It's so just more of being the Arrow, the Green Arrow. And he kind of has this sense of acting where it seems like he can play, you know, because he's been playing the same kind of character in Arrow, Oliver Queen. You know, Oliver Queen is, he's not one-dimensional as we've learned, but he kind of comes off that way, you know, one-dimensional. Even though he's such, a, he's so 
multi-dimensional, as we learned throughout the show. But if you were to just kind of walk up to him and you just saw him and he shook your hand and he's like, hi, I'm Oliver Queen, you just, you don't see much to him. Although, I mean, he looks cool, but that's my point here is, you know, uh, he, Stephen Mel has a way of just acting um, that it, it works, but it's just so familiar. So when he took off his mask and he's like, hey, I'm Casey Jones, it didn't exactly seem like he changed his personality at all from Arrow. And if you guys know Casey Jones, you know that this guy's, he's a walk on the wild side, right? You know, he's, I mean, the action shot from Casey Jones with the mask on and the hockey stick. Oh my God. Probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a trailer this, so, you know, this year. Probably next to... Probably next to Civil War and Batman v Superman. I mean, this is the. I mean, that was just awesome. Just Casey Jones fighting, but then he takes off the mask. He's like, "Hey, I'm Casey Jones," and I'm like, I'm thinking like there was nothing there to convince me that he was Casey Jones. Why couldn't he have just said, "Hey, my name's Oliver Queen"? It just sounded too. I'm not saying that would have made. I mean, it wouldn't have made sense, and of course that would never have happened. But it just felt so identical to the Arrow. You know, I just, it was almost like, you know, maybe he wasn't the right choice. Plus, his hair looks identical. I mean, I was picturing Casey Jones having black hair, uh, maybe having it be a little bit longer. I mean, it's just, it's a little bit different, this appearance from him, you know. He just, I don't want, my, my, what I'm saying here is I'm not criticizing Stephen Amell, and I think he's going to do an awesome job as Casey Jones. And I thought, I mean, the action. I mean, just seriously, probably the best shot, one of the best shots in the whole trailer. But I don't want to see Stephen Amell do the exact same thing he does in Arrow, basically playing the exact same character just with the title Casey Jones, you know? I want his to vo voice tone to be a little bit more like, yeah, dude, what's up? Instead of being, you know, it's not like, my name is Oliver Queen. It just, instead of that, it just sounded, my name is Casey Jones. It's just the same thing. So I think, I'm hoping that we, I mean, this we only got to really see that part from the movie. We didn't really get to see anything else, but I just don't want too much. I don't want to just be, feel like I'm watching the, Arrow on Ninja Turtles. I want to feel like I'm watching the actor who plays the Green Arrow on, or as Casey Jones, on Ninja Turtles. So I think that's going to be interesting. Now, how about Bebop and a Rocksteady? This was awesome. A lot of people were worried about how were they going to, how they were going to make them look. Um, you know, considering that they're kind of just a little bit beyond ridiculous, right? You know, you've got this rhino guy and they've got this kind of like pig boar thing with like a purple mohawk and it's like whoa you know what am i watching i'm watching four big turtles fight a boar with purple hair and a rhino that can talk what am i what did i just pay for it gets to that point but honestly this was i mean that that's just the average movie on audience people like me and people like you who are taking time to watch this video you know, got chills when you saw them, and then, I mean, the, their fights are just going to be amazing. It's all CGI, which is perfect. Um, we see uh, Baxter, we see him, he's actually going to be the one who's turning them into, you know, their mutated versions of themselves. We see them at, in actually kind of before they're mutated, um, we see them as they're human, and, you know, that's also right from the original content, uh, but it was just so cool to see them. I think they're going to be people, some of the people's favorite characters. And uh, honestly, I mean, we didn't get exactly like a main villain. I usually, sh I mean, it's going to be Shredder, basically. But I think Bebop and Rocksteady are just going to kind of be some of those, you know, bigger kind of henchmen. Uh, also, characters like Karai are going to be on there. So she's another kind of henchman-ish kind of character. Uh, but she's a lot of fun. So... I'm happy that they're really trying to dig deep in here uh, for, you know, a lot of the mythology characters because there's so many. Um, and I will have to see what happens. We'll have to see, you know, where they go with the Shredder, how they're going to make that interesting again. Um, and But honestly, this first trailer was just awesome. The action scenes looked really great. The music was so fun. It, it made you get all excited. And, you know, just between Casey Jones... And Bebop and Rocksteady, I mean, I just got, I mean, my hype for this movie has really changed. 
So hopefully we'll be getting an official poster soon or maybe in a month or two or whatever. Uh, I hope they do something cool with that as well. But uh, I, at this point, it looks like this movie is going to be even better than the first one. And I think it's going to please a lot more of that general kind of audience that saw the first one that was a little bit disappointed. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the trailer. Uh, are you loving it? Are you hating it? And what did you guys think of your first look at Bebop, Rocksteady, and of course, Casey Jones? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click your like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with a bunch of other great videos. The X-Men Apocalypse trailer has been confirmed to debut tomorrow. So, of course, you guys know I'll be doing a breakdown and review of that tomorrow. Um, I also just got my Arrow uh, mid-season finale review up, and same with my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. mid-season finale review up. So make sure you're subscribed to get all of those. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.